Matt Robertson, Dave Schrag from BaseballCon, SoftballCon 2011. Dave, having been a part of this event now the first year, you've talked a number of times, have a lot of experience in the college game. Talk to us real quick about what you see when you are out recruiting high school athletes and some main mistakes that high school coaches are making with their kids. Well, I think first and foremost, um, we want to make sure that we get the right exposure on the kids. Um, I think that as long as they're getting proper instruction and the high school coaches care about them, which most of them do, um, you know, they, it's a positive. But, you know, as far as mistakes uh, that, that they might be making, I mean, you know, the, the biggest thing is as a college coach, you're looking for a specific type of player in a specific type of year. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, a player or a coach has a, a catcher that can play for you, but you're not looking for a catcher, you know, and so it has to kind of have a marriage between the two. And, and sometimes, you know, if that coach has limited contacts, um, you know, he doesn't know where to go after that, after he talks to his main coach. So, you know, coming to an event like this, uh, he's going to be giving a lot more people, you know, some more connections and, and uh, can help his players down the road. You've coached at a couple of different cold weather schools, what we would call cold weather schools, Notre Dame. Northern Iowa, Northern Illinois, Evansville to a certain degree. What are some tips for anybody at home who's in a cold weather climate, stuff they can do in the garage, they can do in the basement, some quick, hey, make sure you're doing this even though you're indoor, we can still get some work done. Well, I think you can always uh, have a tee in front of you and set up a net in your garage and, and make sure that you're hitting uh, all year round. I think that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, get into a gymnasium and at least try to keep your arm in shape as much as you can in, in the cold weather. Um, What's nice about you know uh, coaching in, in the north in the cold weather is you can really break down the fundamentals uh, as far as your hitting stance and how you do things fundamentally right, feeling a ground ball because you don't need a lot of space to do that. Um, and so th those are the parts of games that when the weather does change that you're hopefully you're fundamentally sound so now you can get out and, and experience an actual game situation. But you should be fundamentally very strong because you've worked at it on an individual basis. If you went back to coaching eight-year-olds tomorrow, what are the two things you'd concentrate on with eight-year-olds? Uh, first and foremost is just general technique. Um, I think if you can develop a solid technique and a solid base when you're younger, that's definitely going to carry over for you as, as you get older. You don't want to learn bad habits young. Those bad habits sometimes are, are tough to break. So it's really important that at a young age those coaches understand what are the right fundamentals and what is to teach so those young kids are, are taught the right way. Um, the second thing would be is that I would love to recruit a whole bunch of eight-year-olds to play baseball because I think we're losing uh, some kids to other sports. And I, and I would just tell them that they need to stick with baseball and have fun. Um, I think the reason that that we are losing kids is a lot of times they stand around and practice and it isn't fun. And so to make sure that those practices are organized and the kids are having a good time and they come back and keep playing this great game. Thanks for being a part of the first ever baseball con. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.